Hi, I'm Dr. Harry, and welcome to Dr. Harry's Scary Horror Review. I'm coming to you with a brand new review of the new Texas Chainsaw 3D. Today's opening day. Last night they showed a 1020 show on a Thursday night at the local Carmike 12. I went to check it out for you, and here's what I came up with. Okay, the Texas Chainsaw series. I'm not going to get into too, into too much in depth with the entire series. I'm going to do a whole show on the series later on. I've always been a fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacres, but here's the thing about the series. This new film, this new reboot, Texas Chainsaw 3D, is the seventh film in the series. Texas Chainsaw Ma Massacre movies are either hit or miss. Some are really good, some are pretty awful. The new reboot, I liked it. I liked it a lot. It's not flawless, but like with all movies, especially horror movies, it requires some suspension of disbelief. Granted, the movie itself has a few moments that leave you maybe considering would this person really do this or that doesn't make a whole lot of sense but above all pretty good movie it's not the darkest out of the series but it definitely puts the massacre in texas chainsaw massacre now make no mistake texas chainsaw 3d is not a third sequel to the reboot from 2003 the 2003 and 2006 films that came out which included texas chainsaw massacre at the beginning were, those were produced by New Line Cinema. Apparently, they decided to discontinue films, and the rights were sold to uh, Twisted Pictures. It was distributed by Lionsgate. The new film picks up immediately after the events of the 1974 original. The, the 1974 set lasts for about five or ten minutes. The only problem that I have with this is the rest of the movie takes place in present day. Here's a continuity error is that the main character is obviously in her early 20s where in reality if she was born in, if she was a baby in 1974 would have been 40 years old. One of my biggest problems with the last two Texas Chainsaw Massacres was the casting of Orly Ermey. Nothing against the gunnery sergeant. I love him. Hey, everybody loves him in Full Metal Jacket. He stood out in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. Not a good fit. This new cast is not familiar. It's not people that you're used to seeing. I think that works best for a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. The new film has some cameos. Usually cameos don't go over well. A lot of times I see cameos and they may be neat, but they usually stick out. It usually looks like, why are they turning the camera to this guy who we haven't seen in the rest of the movie? Why does this guy all of a sudden have some insignificant line? And cameos usually stand out. However, there's two cameos in the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There's Gunnar Hansen, the original Leatherface from 1974's Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and Marilyn Burns, the Survivor Girl. Both of these cameos are done pretty subtly. I like the way that they're incorporated into the film without really standing out. Good job and kudos. Fan favorite of horror movies, Bill Mosley, who played Chop Top in 1986's Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, takes over the role of Drayton Sawyer. Aha! The family has gone back to the name Sawyer, whereas in the 2003 and 2006 films, they were known as the Hewitts. I like the film. I like the scares. The, the 3D gives for a great picture quality. They don't go overboard, and they don't make it corny with 3D effect gags. Bill Mosley takes over Drayton Sawyer and does a pretty good job. He's only in the beginning and in a few minutes, but everybody loves Bill Mosley, and you can't dislike an appearance by Bill Mosley. The new actor that plays Leatherface is named Dan Yeager. He's apparently six foot five, big guy. Looks like looks like Leatherface has had a little bit of a diet over the last forty years, and um, I, I thought he did a really good job. He's really intimidating. What I liked about the film was the storyline did provide you with something that you haven't seen before. I liked the ideas. I liked where they went with it. Pretty good film. The direction of the film is something that we have not seen before. I can appreciate this. There's a few holes in the plot, but it works out. The director and screenwriters took it in a new direction in which you actually feel sympathy for Leatherface and the Sawyer family. As messed up as that is, that's the direction they took. Almost every other character in the film seems okay at first and turns out to be a genuine asshole. You can't wait for him to die. And of course, without giving away too many spoilers, yes, the movie does set up for sequels. I think it's really, really obvious. A, you have one character that just simply disappears at the end of the film. 
and I can't give too much else away. You'll just have to watch it, but you'll see where they set up for very easily open-ended book for some sequels. Where does Texas Chainsaw 3D stack up with the rest of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films in the franchise? Okay, it's not flawless. I've admitted that much. But I'm going to give it to you straight. I believe that Texas Chainsaw 3D is the second best film in the entire series. I'd say that it falls in right behind the original 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre and right before the 2003 reboot. After seeing the new film, I was tempted to try to rank the actors who have played Leatherface. I can't do it. I really can't. I look at them and I see different strengths in the different actors. Some Leatherfaces are just batshit crazy and other ones are just more aggressive with a mind of a child. Andrew Broniarski from the 2003 and 2006 films has that aggressive childlike mentality without coming across as just batshit crazy. Dan Yeager, the current and new Leatherface, is very similar to Andrew Broniarski's performance. It's different still. There's some subtle differences and he looks different, very different. But he's not just batshit crazy like the Leatherface is, especially in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. As always, I'm here to examine, diagnose, and prescribe what I think would best suit your specific horror needs. We may not always agree, but my prescription is check out Texas Chainsaw 3D. I think you'll like it.